in other news, what is this? That's a oh, chart. The, the... It, it's a chart, yes. A chart of what? This is a new point system that immigrants must adhere to if they want to live in this country. Yes, you get bonus points if you've got English and you lose points if you fail to integrate, which seems harsh in the initial interview. Uh, you know, turn up dressed as a pearly queen. Oh, oi, oi! Good integrating, well done. Uh, <laughs> it's it's basically racist, isn't it? What, people are going to have to learn English to get a British passport. No, I'm afraid it's my family and I will be murdered if we go home. <laughs> Not my family and me. Back to the Sudan with you. <laughs> to learn British history, but essentially British history is us invading their country, <laughs> enslaving their people, and then nicking their natural resources. Always good to remind them of that before we welcome them into the country. <laughs> but it is Nobody on. says this, right? If you're seeking asylum in this country, you probably need asylum. Right? If you come from a sunny country and you want to move to Birmingham, <laughs> someone in your homeland is trying to murder you. <laughs> if you're rocking up to Preston looking for a better life, things have gone very badly wrong <laughs> where you come from. Let those people in. Don't say to those people, hey, you're a heart surgeon in your homeland, but you read very badly from Beowulf. <laughs> <laughs> We'll have to let you go. <laughs> it's really unfair, though, isn't it? Because it, it always comes down, they, should, they have to know things about Winston Churchill. You ask anyone in this country, give us a famous quote from Churchill, and I guarantee they'll go, oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Has any, you know, because there's this, this is to the points to get yourself into the country. Currently, there is a Life in the UK test, uh, which features uh, questions like this. After the Second World War, where did British textile and engineering firms send agents to find workers? <laughs> Now, nobody. judging by the reaction of the audience here and six yeah. blank faces nobody here, knows and, and even, like, even more weirdly, well, there's another question from the life skills test. Where does Santa Claus come from? <laughs> now, there's debate in this country about that particular issue, oh, let alone... Okay. There is no hard and fast answer to that one, but that is, oh, that is among them. Why don't you just... If you really want people to mix in, just give them a simple finish the sentence question with questions like, the referees are... What? <laughs> And if they can finish that, like, the uh, yeah. Frosty's there. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why don't we just go the whole hog, admit we're racist, and at immigration control, have a Dulux wall chart, <laughs> and when people rock up, we go, uh, burnt umber, I'm afraid not. <laughs> <laughs> Autumn sunset, in you come, just. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, this announcement of this new clampdown on, on immigration, oh. what made it slightly awkward? It was a fantastic story because there was an illegal immigrant found hiding underneath a bus that was full of people who worked for immigration. Yes, it was. <laughs> Isn't that it a brilliant story? Bus. It was a bus carrying staff of the UK border agency <laughs> and an illegal immigrant clambered underneath it and hid beside the fuel it's tank. It's the last place they'll look. It is. <laughs> it really was the last place. Just for cheekiness, he should be allowed in because that is brilliant. That, yeah. is, what, that is like a mouse sneaking into the house by holding onto the cat's nipples, isn't it? <laughs> it's just... Well, apparently, when they got to Folkestone, he just legged it. I'd have loved to have been on that bus and seen those guys go, well, I, th I think that went quite well, don't you? I think it went quite <laughs> Oh, dear, who's that chap? <laughs> I don't want to sound racist, but there's no way that any of us are going to catch him over <laughs> 5,000 metres. <laughs> <laughs> OK, at the end of that round, the points go to Frankie Hugh and Stewart. <laughs> <laughs>